What is going on hustlers? So today's video is going to be about why we are addicted to getting notifications and always checking our phones. I have this theory that a lot of us are so trapped in this kind of cat and mouse chase when it comes to social media. We all like getting likes and comments on our Instagram posts or YouTube videos or Facebook posts or whatever it is. We love getting likes and comments and validation from people. The problem is we have become addicted to this and it's not by accident. So I saw a video today kind of going over why we're addicted to social media, why we like notifications, and why we're kind of like addicted to this whole theory of like getting validation from people. And basically, uh, Sean Parker, who was like the president of uh, Facebook for like a short period of time, he went over why, and it wasn't by accident. He basically explained that it was all on purpose. The reason why they do that is because in today's society, attention is very scarce. And what companies are doing is they're trying as hard as they can and they're coming up with all these kind of sneaky tactics to try to like steal our attention and keep it. So uh, as you guys know, Gary Vaynerchuk talks about this. It's called attention hacking. So let's say Facebook, for instance, getting likes on Facebook and comments makes us feel good, right? So what they do is they develop this system where, where it's like a cat and mouse chase. So we log on to Facebook and it's almost like when we log on to Facebook to check our notifications, it's kind of like pulling the lever in a slot machine where we don't know if we're gonna get likes, we don't know if we're gonna get comments, but when we go into our notifications and we see likes and comments in there, it gives us that hit of dopamine and that's what we become addicted to. Almost like gambling, you don't know if you're gonna win, you don't know if you're gonna lose, we're addicted to that kind of cat and mouse chase and that is what brings us in, that is what keeps us addicted to social media and to checking our notifications. For me personally, I'm always checking my phone. I'm sure you guys are as well. I'm always looking at Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, checking for new likes, checking to see who commented on this post, who liked this post, and it's not uncommon. Everyone does it, um, but it gets very bad to a point where you're doing it like every two minutes. And I was actually that bad once. I was checking my phone every two to five minutes, checking for new subscribers on YouTube, comments, likes, the whole thing guys and uh, it's very very bad and when you reach that level of you know addiction where you're tr like just constantly checking for notifications it can get very ugly and you can actually become depressed you can become anxious and depressed from not getting the validation you're seeking so this is a very common issue and it's a very dangerous one as well it's unfortunate that we live in a world now of short-term gratification where we're always looking for we're always checking our inboxes and notifications like you know 10 years ago it was like email, we're always checking our emails, emails. So whenever we get an email, we like check it, we read every one. And, uh, and nowadays with social media, it's like likes and comments and views and stuff. Uh, but the statistics are getting worse now and it's becoming a big problem. And uh, I wanted to make this video to kind of address that and share with you guys and you know, kind of just to speak on it because um, as these social media platforms grow, we become more addicted. So the more likes and comments we get, the more addicted we become to checking our notifications and whatnot. There's probably a lot of different ways we can kind of fix that. We can kind of like pull ourselves back a little and kind of ease up on the checking of the notifications and, and not really care as much. Um, for most people, it's very hard, uh, especially the younger generation. Uh, people that kind of grew up in this social media world, it's even harder for them because this is like all they know. All they know is social media. All they know is the internet. You know, I'm 25 years old, so I grew up in an era where uh, social media was just starting. So I know like the, uh, the difference, the two different paradigms, and I'm kind of blessed in that way. But, you know, for me personally, as an influencer and as a content creator, I kind of find myself, you know, trapped in that box too, where I'm just like constantly checking notifications. I still do it and it's, uh, it's really bad. I feel like there's ways to improve and there's ways to kind of fix it. And uh, I think one of the best ways to do that is to maybe take a little break from social media. I know it's very hard for most people. Um, I tried it for about a couple days and you know I barely lasted. It, it's really difficult. But you know, for me as like a YouTuber, I you know I have to check social media, like I have to, you know, keep building my personal brand and everything, make content for you guys. So for some people it's gonna be a little more difficult, maybe for some people it won't be. But if you find yourself someone who's very addicted to validation and getting notifications, I suggest maybe taking like a week off. Uh, I know it'll be very difficult, but I think it may benefit you in the long term if you do this. Maybe you can do periodically, you know, a couple breaks every month, kind of just like take your brain out of this illusion that you need notifications to be quote unquote special or cool. Um, obviously that's not the case. Uh, just cause you get like a thousand likes on your posts doesn't mean you're cool, doesn't mean anything like that. It just means you, know, you just built up your personal brand or your, or your Instagram or 
whatever it is to a point where you're getting that many likes. Doesn't really mean anything about you. Doesn't mean if you get like 500 likes or a thousand likes on a picture. It doesn't mean, you know, you're any better than this person. It doesn't mean that at all. It just, you know, a lot of people, they get trapped into thinking because the more likes a picture gets, you know, the cooler they are. And that's just not how it is. It's just that these social media platforms like trained us to think that and it's, it's very dangerous. So uh, yeah, I kind of just wanted to go over that real quickly. I want to see what you guys think. Please comment down below and let me know because this is like a very, this is like a very fast growing situation and uh, it's going to only get worse. So um, I think more people got to start talking about it more and it needs to be addressed. So uh, yeah, like I said, let me know what you guys think. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.